private servers are piracy. That is one thing you're gonna hear every time you bring them up. The reality, however, is much more nuanced than you would think. Mandatory disclaimers here, I am not a lawyer, and I am definitely not an American lawyer on top of that. Do not consider this legal advice. I am sure somebody with a legal background can give you a better breakdown of this. Also, I will not use any private server footage in this video. Not necessarily because private server footage is illegal or something, but because Blizzard has a history of shutting down private server videos like this. Just to keep in mind, they also have the right to take down retail WoW videos if they wanted to. A couple of times they actually did. This video is just intended to be a little thought experiment, an attempt to help you guys guys understand what copyright and trademarks actually mean and to dispel this notion that using software that you already paid for is somehow illegal. I will be taking about American copyright law here because one, Blizzard and in turn World of Warcraft are registered in the US as an American company, two, most online services and infrastructure are based in the US and thus subjected to their laws and three, most of you the viewers are from America according to my statistics, so it will be the most relevant for you all if I face it this way. That also means that if you are outside America, private servers may or may not be legal depending on your country, keep that in mind. Another thing to keep in mind is that just because the concept of a WoW private server is legal, in theory, that doesn't mean that existent private servers are legal. Most of them are not legal at all actually. There are many ways you can breach copyright and I am sure some creative Blizzard lawyer is gonna find even more ways than I know. One thing that is technically not illegal of course is the sponsor of this video, gtop100.com is your number one choice to find a World of Warcraft private server with a voting based directory and a different section for each expansion. You can easily browse through a comprehensive list of World of Warcraft private server custom or vanilla. gtop100.com is also a great website to find servers for Havo Hotel, MapleStory, Moo Online, RuneScape, Minecraft, Counter Strike and much much more. If your favorite server is not on this list, you can add it to the directory for free, gtop100.com. Ok, to start with the first and most obvious argument, yes, downloading a copy of a game you do not own and running it is 100% illegal, there are no two ways about it. That also includes downloading a separate copy of a game even though you already own that game. That means pretty much any private server that links to a client download is illegal. Fair enough. Now though, what if you open up your DVD copy of World of Warcraft that is yours? You bought it, you can do whatever you damn well please with it. Many people have physical copies of the game and reusing them for another server is perfectly legal according to American law. Also now, thanks to Hermes Proxy, you can use the 1.14 client in vanilla private servers too. So now you can legally download the client from the official battle.net launcher and use that. Your end user agreement forbids it, but whether that can be enforceable in a court of law is still dubious. So let's not assume that until we get a court precedent for that. The point is, if the server isn't distributing the client themselves, it is not their legal responsibility to know where their users get their clients. Neither are they liable for what their users do in most cases. Some exceptions apply of course. Ok, so it is technically legal to play on a private server, but hosting it must be illegal, right? Well, sometimes it is. There are a few conditions you gotta meet. First of all, World of Warcraft is a trademark. You cannot use the name World of Warcraft in your server. I am not 100% sure of this, but it is very likely that variations, for example calling your server Pepecraft would also breach their trademark. If you call your server something not registered to WoW's trademark, like, I don't know, Champions of the Light or something like that, you are probably on the clear here. Point 2. You cannot use WoW's footage in your promotional material, website, etc. That includes screenshots too, by the way, showing World of Warcraft characters, zones, models of any kind will also be breaching Blizzard's copyright. There is a loophole though. Fair use law allows you to show excerpts of competing products in your packaging and your publicity for the purpose of comparing. For example, 
If you show a screenshot of classic WoW being laggy and a screenshot of your private server working just fine, you can make this into comparative advertising, thus protected by fair use. Another thing potentially copyrighted by Blizzard is their databases. As ironic as this is, a Blizz-like server is more illegal than a custom one. The names of the mobs and the values of the HP, etc. is still Blizzard's property. You can use the models of the mobs and the map and whatever because that is on your client that you legally own. But copying Blizzard's mob database and putting it on a server is definitely not fair use. Easy way around it. Change the names of the mobs, items, etc. to some random name generator and make sure the numerical values of the mobs do not match up exactly. It is inconvenient for the players that will have to learn the new names of everything in the game, but it is still realistically doable. Some servers already do this in custom content anyway, now there is a big problem. Blizzard owns the code to their servers. You can't just take Blizzard's server code and make your own server with it. Luckily though, Blizzard's code wasn't available to the public to begin with. All the code for their servers is proprietary and kept in high secrecy by them. Private servers of almost any kind run in reverse engineered code. After years of trial and error, they found a way to make a core that works as a Blizzard server would, but with entirely different code built from scratch. This is what people in the software space call emulation. Emulation is the reproduction of the function of a different computer or software system by the use of new code. And guess what? Emulation is legal. That's not me saying it, by the way. It is the US Supreme Court in 1999 setting a precedent for years to come. Sony, the PlayStation company, tried to sue a PlayStation 1 emulator called Blim. They tried every charge in the book because they are a mega corporation and they have more lawyers than Asmon Gold has Dr. Pepper cans in his room. The thing is, none of it stuck. Blim beat every single one of those lawsuits. It was eventually ruled that since Blim didn't use any of Sony's code to run their emulator that they did not infringe on the PlayStation's copyright at all. Here's the problem, and here is why no private server to this day has ever challenged Blizzard in court. Blim still failed. They still went broke. It hardly mattered that they weren't doing anything illegal. When you are a small company and you face 40 lawsuits by a multinational corporation, it is a battle you cannot win. Why would a private server go through all this legal trouble just in the small chance that they may make it alive when they can just as easily copy-paste their code into a new project, get a new name and start over? Hello guys, I started making private servers yesterday, I got 10 years of experience. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and hit the notification bell for we got a lot more coming. Join our Discord in the in comments. Once again, I would like to thank our sponsor gtop100.com for making this video possible. Check out their link in the description to find the ideal private server for you.